so the student in order to uh, to avoid an or thing or charge accumulation problem which is created in order to deposit insulating material by direct current magnet transfer ring is avoided by radio frequency magnet transfer ring so basically the need of the radio frequency magnet transfer ring was due to the deposition of the uh, deposition of the insulating materials thin films because the direct current magnet transfer ring basically create uh, accumulation of charges and those at or the surface of the substrate are so and also at the surface of the source or target material so these accumulation of charges basically result into damage of the substrate material uh, substrate and as well as the source material which can basically result into an incorporation or a damaged structure of the source and as well as deposited thin films so the radio frequency magnet transfer ring usually used a frequency in the radio frequency in the range of 13.54 mega hertz for sputtering and deposition of the thin films which is basically most commonly thin film based on insulating dielectric materials so this will let explain a radio frequency a magneton a sputtering uh, instrument with a schematic diagram just in before that please note that a radio frequency a magnetron a sputtering instrument is basically used basically involve an alternating electric potential okay an alternating electric potential is basically used in a radio frequency magnetron sputtering uh, instrument okay and this this alternating uh, alternating uh, electric potential of the current in the vacuum environment at radio frequency will avoid the charge build up at the surface of the substrate and as well as at the surface of the target and as well as source material so basically the alternating potential at radio frequency will result in the non accumulation of the charges at the target and as well as substrate material so this will basically result in basically in sputtering of the insulating material which is quite difficult to be sputtered in direct current magnetron sputtering setup okay so basically this a radio frequency magnetron a sputtering basically provide us an opportunity to deposit dielectric coating materials which are commonly used in semiconductor industries most commonly used material which is deposited by a radio frequency direct current magnetron sputtering instrument or aluminum oxide silicon oxide and tantalum oxide okay so this technique use a radio frequency with alternative potential will result in deposition of insulating um, materials as a thin film and this due to this this radio frequency direct current magneton sputtering technique is a core part of semiconducting dielectric insulating industry so if we explain the schematic diagram in a, this schematic diagram of radio frequency magnetic direct current magneton sputtering instrument 
we simply just say that radio frequency magnetron instrument has a reaction chamber inside the reaction chamber there is a cathode and anode the cathode and anode are basically connected with high potential uh, source okay and that a high potential a source basically is uh, connected with basically it's uh, with cathode and anode and the uh, substrate or source material is basically uh, the, the source material or target material is placed at cathode whereas the uh, substrate is placed at the anode so when the high variable potential at radio frequency is applied across the cathode and anode this will result in uh ionization of inert gas inside the reaction chamber this ionized inert gas will interact uh, onto the um, source or substrate material and this uh, so, so source or target material and the source of target material will get ionized will be transported on to the anode please note that the technique is radio frequency magnetron uh, sputtering technique so i did not mention that magnetic poles but the magnetic poles will be somewhere around the near the cathodes in order to confine the uh, target or source material it's, they are not represented in diagram but you can easily understand that they are near the cathode to confine the uh, ion near the target or source material so in this way the ejected or the sputtered source material will be then transported toward the surface of substrate and then they are deposited as a thin film in radio sput radio frequency direct magnetron sputtering instrument so this student please note that by alternating a potential okay or uh, by alternating the electric potential with radio frequency in rf magnetron sputtering instrument the surface of the uh, target material is basically can be easily cleaned from the charge build up with each cycle okay on the positive potential okay but if we apply a positive potential across the cathode uh, and anode uh, also on the positive uh, on the positive cycle electrons are attracted to the target material or cathode Okay, so electrons are. If we apply a positive potential, electron will be attracted toward the toward the uh, the uh, on the positive cycle, the electron will be attracted toward the cathode. So, like we have changed the polarity, so the electron will be attracted toward the uh, cathode because the polarity is basically changed. Okay, so so this means that uh, on the the so this means that so this means that by applying an alternate potential okay at radio frequency basically we clean the surface okay we basically um, uh, usually uh, in uh, in positive and negative potential uh, uh, in just non uh, if we apply if we apply a potential which is uh, which is like uh, negative potential on the cathode and positive potential on the anode then the uh, ions will basically will be interact with the uh, target or the uh, source material and this ion will basically remove this uh, target or the um, s s target or the source material however if we reverse the polarity okay so like let's say if we apply a positive potential on the cathode the polarity will of the cathode will be re reversed it will become positive and then the electron inside the plasma of the reaction chamber will interact with the surface of the uh, source or substance so in this way basically the if the charges are accumulated on the surface of the substrate then those accumulated charges will be removed so let's explain it simple word what advantage what rf plasma rf uh, radio frequency sputtering give us advantage of our direct current magnetron sputtering basically radio frequency um, uh, magnetron sput direct current magnetron sputtering give us an opportunity of uh, the alternation of the electric potential okay so like the if 
the in usually in general direct current being transferring the a cathode is placed at negative potential whereas anode is placed at positive potential okay and due to this uh, if you want to um, sputter uh, the insulating or insulating or non conducting material then it take a lot of time for the insulating or non conducting material to get evaporated and there is a possibility of accumulation of huge amount of or thing an accumulation of additional uh, electrons at the surface of the target or source material so the radio frequency gives us an opportunity that uh, if we apply a alternative radio frequency across the cathode and anode and if we mm, use a positive potential at cathode and negative potential at anode the electrons from inside the plasma will basically interact with the electron at the surface of the target and source materials so in this way the target and the electron which are basically accumulated at the surface of the source or target material will basically get removed um, by applying a cycle of uh, positive potential or negative potential to the cathode and in this way the arcing which is basically is more common uh, in direct current magnetron sputtering for deposition of insulating material is basically removed and in this way basically we basically deposit the uh, insulating and dial insulating or dielectric material using radio frequency and direct current magnetron sputtering this will please note that this technique is widely or is most common for deposition of aluminum oxide uh, silicon oxide and it is a core technique uh, of of the semiconducting industry so this student please note that the radio frequency uh, sputtering direct current magnetron sputtering has advantages over other Uh, sputtering deposition techniques basically radio frequency magnetron a uh, sputtering technique allow us to diffuse the plasma throughout the entire chamber as you know that basically in radio frequency a uh, magnetron sputtering instrument the electrically variable potential is used at radio frequency so that electrical variable potential causes the creation of plasma and that plasma is uniformly distributed and it is uniformly diffused throughout the reaction chamber of the radio frequency magnetron sputtering institute second advantage of a radio frequency magnetron sputtering is that this technique sustain a plasma throughout the chamber at low pressure so basically it intackle yeah intact the plasma throughout the reaction chamber even at very small or even at very low vapor pressure which could be in the range of 1 to 15 milli dot so this is the key advantage of the radio frequency magnetron sputtering process another advantage of radio frequency magnetron sputtering process is is that radio frequency magnetron uh, sputtering allow us to deposit insulating target or source material as it is because dear student please note that radio frequency magnetron sputtering give us an opportunity to reduce the r sink okay because radio frequency magnetron sputtering technique use an alternating potential and that alternating potential inside the radio frequency direct magnetron sputtering instrument cause a fluctuation of the electric potential and due to this if there is an additional uh, Uh, electron present at the surface of the substrate or at the surface of the target or substrate they will be removed so this is the key advantage of radio frequency uh, magnetron sputtering that this technique allow us 
to deposit insulating dielectric material which is almost or nearly impossible to be deposited without any defect using direct current magnetron spectrum instrument okay so another advantage of radio frequency magnetron sputtering is that this technique reduces the creation of ray streak or a region on the surface of the target material so the radio frequency magnetron sputtering technique give us an opportunity to reduce or to remove the ray streak region which is usually caused by different techniques so the target surface or the target material which is present in radio frequency radio frequency by transpecting instrument the ray streak region if there is reduced in the target uh, in on the surface of the target material by uh, due to the radio frequency magnetron spectrum so this is a very important advantage of radio frequency magnetron spectrum instrument and due to this the material the target material basically will be very uniform and the target material will basically result into a uniform sputtering and the deposit film in the difficult magnetic transporting will be also uniform because there will be no rest track region or there will be a very small rest track region at the surface of the uh, target or source material please note that the rest track region is due to an alternating or ac nature of the radio frequency magnetic transporting because we are basically using a variable potential in radio frequency magnetron sputtering and this this variable potential or uh, alternating potential will result into a reduction of rest track region okay or reduction of the surface defect of the target material so the key point to note is that why the rest track region or this like discontinuity at the surface of a target or source material is less in a radio frequency magnetron sputtering dear student please note that the ac nature of the radio frequency setup basically uh, will basically cause a less accumulation or less in less 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 interruption of the uh, less interruption of the ions near the surface of the uh, source or target material due to a magnetic field okay because the potential is varied so when the potential is varied the ion which are basically uh, want which are basically trying to bombard to the surface Uh, uh, are interacting with the magnetic field, but still, if the potential is variable, okay, I have an AC nature in radio frequency magnetron sputtering, then due to variation of potential, the uh, ion which want to bombard the target or source material will be less, and uh, though the magnetic field will. Uh, and capture or will focus them to, to strike on to the target material but still the interaction of the um, uh, ion uh, ion will be less with the target or source material and due to this the rest tech origin will be avoided okay another advantage of uh, radio frequency magnetron spectrum is that uh, this technique basically avoid us an opportunity to no disappear the anode effect okay so the f anode effect in this uh radio frequency and magnetron sputtering is basically avoided why the no disappearing uh, magnetron uh, 
uh, no disappearing anode effect is avoided in radio uh, frequency emitted on spectrum what do you think why the uh, anode is not disappeared in radio frequency emitted on spectrum this is because of the alternating potential which is used in radio frequency emitted on spectrum okay and so anode will be appearable in the radio frequency when it was put in setup so this trend apart from the advantages of the uh, radio frequency direct uh, radio frequency magneton sputtering there are disadvantages of radio frequency magneton sputtering process so what are the disadvantages of radio frequency magneton sputtering the student the main disadvantage of radio frequency magneton sputtering is that this technique or this instrument require high voltage to achieve the deposition result as with direct current please note that direct current magneton sputtering can we can deposit a huge amount of thin film in shorter amount of times so the production of thin films with direct current magneton sputtering is more than the radio frequency magneton sputtering because radio frequency magneton sputtering require higher potential as you know that the radio frequency magneton sputtering used the alternate potential okay it used an alternating current so this alternating current will create less or will sputter less source or target material as compared to the direct current so the radio frequency magneton sputtering basically consume higher potential as compared to direct current magneton sputtering in terms of production of huge amount of sputtered deposited thin films another disadvantage is that the radio frequency current used in radio frequency magneton sputtering setup travel on the skin or the surface of the conductors and not through them okay so this is very important disadvantage of radio frequency magneton sputtering basically that the the current which is used in radio frequency magneton sputtering instrument usually travel at the surface of the conducting material so this mean that the radio <coughs> frequency magneton sputtering technique give us less opportunity to deposit conducting material very easily so it is difficult for radio frequency magneton sputtering material to deposit higher rate of the conducting material because the rate the current or the potential which is used in a different magneton, magneton sputtering basically travel at the surface of this or at skin of the source or target material and due to this it will be very difficult for a source or target to, to sputter uh, or conducting source or target to sputter using radio frequency magneton sputtering instrument another disadvantage of radio frequency magneton sputtering process is is that the sputtering rate in radio frequency magneton sputtering is less okay this mean that the deposition rate is also less in radio frequency magneton sputtering due to lack of secondary electrons okay so basically the alternate potential is used in radio frequency magneton sputtering so this alternate potential result into the result into the interaction of the electric potential at the surface of the source or target material so the potential is basically travel at surface of the uh, or at the surface or at the thin skin of the source or target material this, and with this there will be a very rare amount or very small amount of the secondary 
electrons or secondary charges okay so when the secondary charges are less there will be a less evaporation or less removal of the sputtered material and due to this the deposition rate of with of the radio frequency sputtering is set up is less than the other deposition sputtering techniques like direct current wave transfer to etc so this is very important uh, disadvantage of the uh, radio frequency wave transfer train as sputtering setup and due to this this technique is usually avoided to deposit the conducting materials okay but still it is most common in sputtering the insulating sputtering and deposition of the insulating materials another disadvantage of radio frequency magnetron sputtering is that alternating the current at high rf a plasma can be sustained with much lower pressure okay this is advantage but this is also disadvantage that at alternated uh, current okay uh, uh, potential at higher of rf the plasma can always be sustained inside the reaction chamber so this is plus point and this is also negative point of the uh, radio frequency magnetron sputtering setup